There's only one way out, our rat back. We got one. You got one. Got right in there. So this landlord has dealt with multiple pest control companies. They've done smoke tests, they've done it all, and they can't figure out what's causing these rats to be scrambling in the ceiling, middle of the day as well. So we're right above the area where the rats are running like this, back and forth. I came over here, removed this, it's like an old water heater vent pipe, and right in there, leads directly into the attic area and there's a bunch of rat droppings in there I can see and it smells really really bad and ran the camera here and I'll show you what we found this here is the old cast iron pipe that's original to the building and it's starting to crack. So once we get a visual on this, I'll show you what, what I'm talking about. Cast iron pipe only has a lifespan of about 40 to 50 years, and all of, all of a sudden, it just starts to just crack. And that's what we're finding within this old system here. Question is, how are the rats getting in? That's a good question. Oftentimes with cast iron, especially when it's already at its lifespan, there's threads that connect to the old galvanized fittings. And what happens, suddenly they get brittle and then they just pull apart. So more than likely, that's how the rats are getting into this structure right here. That looks good, that looks good, that looks good. Keep going and... Boom, right there. That was fast? There's a major offset right there, you guys. Make some noise so the guys can open up the wall. Hey, Raul, open up the wall right there. Wow, this is it right here. It's integration coming in right here. And they're coming up, taking over this ceiling space. They open up here where the lab is. And you can see the pipe right there completely cracked. That's exactly what's happening, is this cast iron is failing. Open her up. No! No! Okay, so you can see massive amount of rat grease right there. That's where they were coming and going, right there. I'll set this up in the attic area here. I'm gonna show you a couple of videos, guys, proving this rat hood here. These rats are like trying to figure out how to get the bait, and then they just say, you know what? Gotta go straight in, and bam, we're catching rats left and right. That's pretty smart thinking. Super, super tight crawl space, you guys. Okay, so we're gonna get some tape to Daniel. Instead of throwing a roll of tape, I wrap this around the pipe several times, so he'll just use this, and then he needs some foam. So what we're gonna do is just send it to him like this. Daniel! I'm sliding everything to you with this pipe. You see it? You got the tape, everything. Oh, look at the big brain on Dave. So think about it, there's really no room. I, I guess I could bring my drill motor and try to fasten it here. But look at this, guys, no more trying to stabilize. It's just gonna sit right here. Look at that. Right in the insulation, nice and stabilized. I'm so proud of this bad baby. I couldn't be more proud of you. Okay, let's get a can of foam so they can isolate so they don't go down in the crawl space. They can shoot through it, but I don't want them going in the crawl space tonight. That's why I'm doing this. I know it looks a little messy, but see, this is the runway, this area. So tonight, they're not going to be hitting this. It's going to keep them up in that attic area so we can catch these rats. Day two. We're headed back next morning, guys. There was so much activity in that attic. So I'm going to have to re-strategize here. There's several more rats up in that ceiling area. Yeah, I could put a a lot more rat traps up there, but it is a tight space. And then having to come back, there's only one way out, and that is going to be our rat vac. So that's what I'm gonna set up today. So a couple things I wanted to show you what I'm having, we're having great success with is our mounting our rat tugger. Let me show you why we're having success by applying these here to the rat traps. First off, it allows you to put two different baits. So let me show you what that looks like. So here's a piece of Slim Jim. Slide the Slim Jim inside like this. Just tear off the excess here. 
So okay, now we have Slim Jim on this side, and then the other side we'll put peanut butter, so it gives them two different options of food depending on what their diet. Does they need protein? Do they need more carbohydrates? Do they need more sugars? Yeah, it's a small one. See how they pulled my wire apart to get to that bait. Uh, there's really no space, so I think what I'm going to do is utilize this piece of metal here. I've got an idea for this area now. And all right, guys, we'll just take pack up the peanut butter inside of this side here. So as you can see, they really got to dig in to get this bait here. It's not like the wire where they could just tear it apart. This hood here allows them to come from behind, which I don't like, but that's why we use this on a vertical position. So I'll show you what that looks like. The idea is to come here and shove their heads up into this area here. There's no way this works. Okay, so we put up a piece of drywall right here. And again, this is where they were coming and going. So the cool thing about our bait station is it converts to support our uh, rat vac. So what we're gonna do is set this up right here. Here's our rat vac here. So here's our little feeder plate. So these little little holes here you just wipe up wipe the cockroach bait or whatever bait you're going to use in this here like this and the cool thing is as the vacuum sucks this goes up to the wall of the pipe so it doesn't stick to the pipe and then you just drop it down like that vacuum just clips right on here and it secures it like this Okay, let's test the vacuum. In fact, let's just confirm that it will suck up a rat and put it into this vacuum here. There it is. This should be fun. Just like that. All right, we're fully activated. We got the rat vac and the snap trap up in the attic. I'm really hoping we can suck a few up. That would be so cool, you guys. Leave your comments. What do you guys think about all these little gadgets that we're creating here to catch more rats? Because it sure increased our capture rate by 40% easy. Day three. Day three, we caught another one. bait still inside that rat tugger which is a good sign what i love about these rat tuggers is that they can't get to the bait especially with the hood whereas this without the tugger got plenty of food supply let's go check the rat back this is it the moment of truth oh no freaking vacuum was off and they took the bait they took the freaking bait. Whoops, my bad. Amazing if I would have got that rat. Took my bait, I'm pissed. I'm really, really upset. I feel embarrassed, I feel like, oh, so upset. So I'm gonna pull those rat traps out of that attic. I'm gonna get one in that rat back, guys, so stay tuned. Pull the rat traps out, and I noticed last night, one of them went for the vertical rat trap, and then it veered towards that bathroom. We'll see if we can get that sucker tonight, gosh. So the only good thing about me not turning that vacuum on is we sort of pre-baited and that's what we're finding with the rat vac is if you pre-bait the pipe with food, let them come in, get comfortable. Once you see that activity and their comfortability, then you can hook up the rat vac. That's been working pretty well. I cannot wait till we catch one in that rat vac. So we'll be back. A few moments later. I just got a call from the client. One hour later, we've already got one in the rat vac. Let's go. I knew you could do it. I knew it. So just got another text message from the client. It says vacuum just went off again. Leaving your comments. You think I caught one or two based on this text message? This is gonna be interesting. Did we catch one or two? We got one. You got one. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna take the vacuum outside. Okay. Unless you guys want to chase them inside. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Okay. <laughs> I'm taking any chances. Seal that off too very. Not in there. 
can't be right. Definitely was in there. Oh, you heard him? Oh, for sure. He was going crazy. Oh, that's, that's weird. Lovely. Yeah, it's a juvenile. Got caught up in here. That's weird how it got sucked up in there. Yeah, he's, he, he's hiding. Jammed up in there. Twelve seconds later. So typically what we would do is add water, some oil to make it slippery. I didn't want to do that because my intent was to show that this rat back is humane and I was going to actually take him and let him go out in the desert out here. But I got so excited I wanted to see if we really caught one and how many. Now for those of you wondering, oh that's great, you just let him go and now he's in the, he's in the back. He's not going to be able to get back in this building because it's completely sealed. It's exciting, guys. If there were eight or nine juveniles in that wall, we would have sucked up every single one of them. Minimizes all the trips back and forth with trapping, so that's the benefit. Day four. Late afternoon here. We're going to have to pull the rat back because they want those walls patched up. They haven't heard any activity, not like it was before. We're just going to set up a couple rat traps just to confirm, but they were definitely coming through the plumbing. I don't even know if there's any more rats up there because I'm not seeing any activity left in the camera. Let's see if I can set this rat trap with one hand. I got this. I got this. One hander. Bam. Impressive. Good thing with these snap traps too. Take a little bit of insulation. Just kind of hide the hide the trap like that. That closes this job out. What, what about, about the, the rat dance? dance? The rat dance. This deserves the rat dance. <laughs> I gotta tell you, this episode was a lot of fun. Seeing our rat back in action, the little hoods catching those rats left and right. It's amazing, guys. I love what I do. Hey, leave your comments. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next one.